I can see a lot of that on the national scale and being a newer organization in the last year and a half, two mm-hmm. years, um, what are some things that Tash does in the state in the last year? So, you know, we have our little, our little chapter bylaws and we had to submit a plan to Tash DC. I mean, we have to have it organized in our, one of our, we had to have an action plan and we, we picked, our group picked certain things we were going to focus on and one of them, for example, was, I don't know if anybody out there had gone to or familiar with the SAVE conference that Birmingham hosted. We hosted the big national conference. Uh, it was about a thousand people that attended. And one of our goals was to um, obviously increase our membership and to um, recruit new members. Mm-hmm. We had a high lofty goal of 20. <laughs> we didn't make that. But um, so that, for example, was an action plan step of ours. Um, another one was the screening of intelligent lives. Um, and that was we've the- done, we've done that. And we have, we've had two other, we've had three or four, uh, screenings associated with, with Tash. So, um, those are some of the things we're doing. And we partner, we'd love to partner with other groups too. Like we partnered with family voices. We partnered with ADAP. We partnered with people first. So, um, you know, we're, we're partnering with folks like that too. And, um, have you... And I just asked, I just emailed DC. I was trying to get our, our latest membership number. I don't have access to that. Um, I'm hopefully he'll answer me back here while we're online and I can see, tell everybody where our total membership is at this point. But I think we have a total, I just looked up our Alabama membership. I think we have a total of 28 members so far. So you're... And I'm, you know, I'm telling you all that. I'm being very transparent. We need more members. 